Are we live? Yes. Yes, hello everybody, 21 people before the class. Welcome to another online gymnastics class with me, Joshua Ball and... Hannah! Yeah, Hannah's talking more now. Yes. So you guys, we're going to start straight away. No mumbo jumbo at the start. We're going to start running straight on the spot. Anyone else that joins, join along. You guys follow on as much as you can. Okay, we've got some good stuff to do today. So start jogging on the spot. Just nice light jogging, get your blood going in your body. Get nice and warmed up. Okay, as fast as you can for 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And jogging again. Okay, now 10 times we're going to go out, down, up. 10 times, go. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, jogging. And then we're going to go star jumps 10 times. Well, we're just going to keep doing star jumps. Not 10 times. We've got to get our blood pumping. Okay, and 10 more times. You're going out, down, up. 3, 2, oh. 1, go. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Okay. Both arms up nice and tall. And then we're going to circle our arms forwards. Nice big circles with our arms. Should be a bit out of breath now. Circle your arms backwards. Nice ten big circles. Good, okay, and then legs a bit further apart. And then we're going to go from this position over, and then to the other side, and over to the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gonna go 20, 11, 12. Keep those arms straight, legs straight. 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Give your legs a shake. Give your arms a shake. Okay, now we're going to go 10 times. Legs further than shoulder width. So you're in a straddle position like this. And then from here, I want us to walk forwards. We're going to go press up, back up. But when we get back up here, reach your hands as far as you can through your legs for three, two, one, and then walk back forwards. Two, all the way back, stretch those legs. And again. Three. Three, and back. Stretch those legs, and forwards. Press up. Four, stretch those legs. Forward, five, and back, stretch those legs. This time, for these last five, that last five, we're gonna go to our right leg when we stop. So really stretch those legs to the right and walk back forwards. Six. And then go to our left. Stretch that leg. And forwards. Press up. Seven. Then to our right. Hold. And forwards. Down. Eight. And to the left. Stretch. Forwards. Nine. This last one. Back into the middle again. So stretch it as far as you can through. That was nine. Got one more. What? That was nine. Okay, one more. Forwards. Press up. And back. And stretch. Good. And then we're going to lunge over to the right like Spider Man. Chest up nice and tall. See if you can do it without any hands if you can. And hold. Get that balance. Stretching our left leg. Good, and then we're going to swap, swap to our other leg, spider woman position, chest up, leg nice and straight, point your toes, keep stretching. This is where we look at the live stream and everyone said, there's no sound. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm back up nice and tall, keeping our legs straight, arms to the side, now we're going to go opposite hand to opposite foot, so all the way across, back up tall, and down, up tall, ten times, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, give your legs a good shake. It's very, very warm today. There you go, it's lacking already. Okay, lying on your back. We're gonna push up for 30 seconds. Are we ready? Are you ready, Hannah? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Up to a nice bridge. Stretch nice and tall. 30, 29, 25, 20, 15, 10, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Tuck your legs in and rock forwards and backwards. Oh, bridges hurt. Just a little bit. Just stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, we're going to go again. Are you ready? This time, just 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go, push up. 30. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And tuck shape again. Always stretch your back the opposite way. Good, good, good. Ooh. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then up on your feet. Moving on. If you need a drink, grab yourself a drink. We've not bought any today, have we? It's lagging. It's all right. Give yourself two minutes of a little rest. Grab yourself a drink. Hydrate. All right. Let me know where you're from in the comments, guys. Let me know. We didn't see if it's if it cuts out, which hopefully it won't. Yeah. We're recording it anyway, so if it does cut out, then watch one of the previous videos, but we'll upload the rest of the session as soon as it's finished. There we go, there we go. Right, what we're gonna do next is if you guys have an iPad or anything, there's a good app on it called Tabata. Okay, so it times you doing 20 seconds rest and 10 seconds of work, okay? Me and Hannah, we're gonna do shoulder taps, what else are we going to do? Shoulder taps and V crunches. So we're going to do shoulder taps and, and V crunches. I'm doing V tucks. Huh? V tucks. V tucks. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to press start on the timer. We're going to run. Get ready. You guys get ready as well. You should be able to hear my timer through the live stream. Here we go. Get ready. What we do first? Two, one. Shoulder taps. Go. slow because it's hard. So keep your body nice and straight, keep everything tensed up. <laughs> Two, one, rest. and then 10 seconds of rest. You can either just sit down and rest or stretch out your shoulders or any stretch. Get ready for the next Two. one. Two, one, and V crunches. So on your stomach, one. Keep you going for 20 seconds. If you get tired, don't stop, just slow down, okay? There's no rush to do the exercises, you've got a whole four minutes to do it. My hip keeps cracking. It does, I can hear it. Rest. And relax, rest. Enjoy the sun if you're out in your garden. Yeah. And go, 20 seconds.
Ah, relax. Have a little break. It's hard work, ready? Right, go. Crunches. 20 seconds. If you get tired, slow down. Don't stop. But it's very hot. I feel like I'm in Thailand. Ah, relax. Relax, relax, relax. Get ready for the next one. It's so warm. He's getting a good sweat on. Hopefully you guys got a good sweat on as well. Go. Keep tapping those shoulders. This is good for all of your gymnastics. If you've got a strong core and you've got strong arms, strong stomach, strong legs, then you're going to find it 10 times easier to do all the tricks and skills that you're trying to practice. Three, two, one, go. If you get tired, don't stop, just slow down. This is working your stomach the most. If you have to rest, grab your knees, go into a tuck shape. But then don't go longer than three seconds of resting. It's only 20 seconds before you get your full 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Full to 10 seconds. One, go. Exercise. Just shoulder taps, try and keep your body nice and straight. You can turn a little bit to get the weight on your hands. Two, one. You stop before the end then. I know. That means you got to do it all over again. Is that finish finished? No, not yet. Two more. Oh. No, this might be the last one. Crunches, go. Inside. 20 seconds. Take a breather. And there we have it. Victory. So there's your little four minute workout of the day. Right, we are going to move on to doing, trying to reconnect. But that's all right, because we are recording as well. We're going to move on to doing some handstands and some elbow stands. Elbow balance. You doing it with me, Shay? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all alright. Are we ready? Yes. Have a little rest. Grab yourself a drink. Have a little rest. A little breather. Oh, it is so hot out here today. It is. Very hot out here today. Oh. Have a little break. A little rest. Take it out. Reckon. Yeah. Black one. Just pull it out. We'll go wireless. Have a little breather. And if you're not sweating and you're not out of breath, you didn't work hard enough. So work harder. We are dying. Are you ready? Yeah. Some handstands? Yes. Come on then. Starting from knee prep. Start from the prep. So first, we are going to start with our handstands 10 times. I want you to drop down onto your knees from this position. Hands on the floor. You're going to jump all the way up. See if you can get up to a handstand. If you can't quite get up to that handstand, then just try and take the weight on your shoulders. But remember, shoulders forwards. Okay, if you can't get into a handstand, just go to a tuck shape first. Okay, and then eventually build up, build up, build up, and you'll be able to do it. Are we ready, Hannah? Yes. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Ten times. One, go back down. Two. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to try and hold it for as long as, the, as long as you can. Up, straight, down. Can't get my bum Three, over. shoulders forwards. Always shoulders forwards. Oh. 
Four. Nice. It's not over now. Five. Keep going over, over. If I'm going over, over, there's just too much power. So you've, got to, you've got to work out how far you need to jump off the floor to stay in that handstand shape. So this one's going to be a good one. I'm going to hold it. Go on. No. Ah, yeah. Three more. Come on. Three more. One. And last one. One more. One more good one, Hannah, together. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Give your arms a good shake. Okay, moving on from standing position. You always want to have this nice big lunge. Okay, so big shoulder, uh, your, your knee bends, you want to reach forwards. Arms, imagine someone's put some glue on your ears. Okay, so the, the arms are sticking, sticking here, you're reaching forwards, bend that front leg, and then your back leg is your driving force. That's what's gonna kick you up to that handstand. So from here, forwards, up, and come back down. Okay, we're gonna go practice that for two or three minutes, we'll take it in turns. Ready? That was my turn, your turn. There, step, jump, kick, yeah, and come back down. Very good. Okay, gonna keep practicing that. You guys try and make it a little bit difficult for yourself, okay? If you want to start moving your hands around, if you want to kick up to a handstand, go left, right, left, right, left, right. Try and touch your shoulders. Try and touch your shoulders. Try and hit your legs. Okay, another one, a bit more advanced, is trying your uh, half turn. So from this position, up, try and turn, and come back down. Okay, we're gonna try it for two minutes. I don't even have a timer for two minutes. I think that's what it might be, you know. What? The laptop gets too hot. I've got a warning on my iPad saying it's too hot. Probably, because it's in the sun. And then that, when it was under there, it was alright. Yeah. Should we get an umbrella for it? Yeah. Should we have an umbrella? I don't know. Okay, keep practicing. Two minutes of handstand. Look, see if you can turn. Go back down. Okay, there you go. From this position, if you can't quite get to a handstand, just try and take that weight on your shoulders. From there, up, back down. When you start to get a bit more comfortable, up, feet together, back down. When you start to hold it for three or four seconds, reach forward, and then see if you can go from handstand and turn. Come back down, okay? Keep practicing, keep practicing. Because it was all right under there. Yeah, I did say should we put it in the shade? Should even we move there. it in the shade? Even there there's not enough shade. Probably is higher up because the top of the chairs are covered. Oh no. Come on that side. Yeah. Three, two, one. There we go. Well, we can the shade. Uh. Carry on. Not half as many viewers, is there? Uh, I'm just very good if you have commented. You know what you do is practice your handstands. So. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. So, top tips for your handstands as you go yeah, up to your tips. handstand. Don't try and bring your head out. Do one with your head out for me, Hannah. You see how as soon as her head comes out, her back arches. You want to push away from the floor, keep that head down. There, look. Hand, Hannah's handstand's got better since we've been doing these, and that's what, two weeks? Yeah. And hopefully some of your guys' handstands have been getting better. Is what I want to see. Honestly, loads of good handstands. They're good. Take a little break. I will. Some half, uh, Get some water. 
how many can I fit in? One. Super fast. Whew. Okay, keep, you guys keep practicing, keep going. We're just a bit hot, we're gonna have a drink. So he's better since I've got it under there. Yeah. Go on, your turn to practice. Reach forwards, jump, squeeze your legs together, push, my legs that time. push your arms. Let's do a, a talk. So as soon as you reach forwards, this leg's got to bend. Kick up. From this position, squeeze all these legs, push up from nice and tall. This bit of your shoulder here, you want that to be nice and straight all the way up to your toes. And when you're holding it there, you can almost stay there forever. Eventually you will, but just keep practicing. It will come, but you've got to do it over and over and over and over and over. Yeah? Yes. Am I going? Yes, sir. Your hands there. Oh. Good. You holding me? Yeah. Got it. Anna's going to hold me. I'll do a bad one, and I'll do a good one. Are you ready? So I'll kick. This is, this is a bad one. My legs weren't together, I wasn't yeah. pushing off the floor, I didn't have my core engaged. This is a good one with all of those things I'm doing. So bend forward, push up, squeeze, and push tall. Keep my head in, I'm just going to try and hold me, and I stay, push tall, squeeze, and then I'll let's go. And I come down. Woo! That was good. It's very, very hot. You guys keep practicing. If you need a rest, have a little rest. We go again. One last time from Hannah. Then we're going to move on to our shoulder start, uh, elbow stands. Forearm balance. Forearm balances. That was Washington terrible. Washington fell through the fence. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Keep trying. Keep going. Keep practicing. That's all right. It's all right. Okay. Moving on to this is this is Hannah's part of the session. Okay. So moving on, we're going to do some forearm balances. Okay, so with your arms on the floor, you, I know, for me, I put my hands together like this, okay? Probably to start off with, if you have your hands like this, it, it, it's easier to begin with, okay? Hannah's going to show you one, I'll talk through it as she's doing it. You have to catch it and then you huh? can talk through it. I'll catch it. you then, go on then. Because we're really good at these. Come on then. So, from this position, see our hands, our hands are on the floor like this, okay? From here, almost the same as kicking up from a handstand, you're going to bring one leg out, okay? You want to push off your front leg, and you want to kick with your back leg. So you're coming up here, look. This is a good, very good practice, so you can understand your balance for a shoulder bend. You see how I back bended straight away as soon as I let go there? Okay, again, you've still got to push, push away from the floor. You try it again? Yeah. Come on then. So elbows on the floor. Exactly, the, almost the same kick as a handstand from here. We kick up, we squeeze our legs together, we push up nice and tall, keep those legs squeezed together, trying to balance. Find your balance. If you've got a partner, grab your partner, okay? Or your mum, your dad, your brother, your sisters, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles. Shouldn't be around your house, but you can try. Or the wall, <laughs> if in doubt, use True. the wall. <laughs> you can use the wall. I'm going to do one now. I'll try and catch you. I'm trying to catch me. So, hands on the floor. I put my hands together. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Three. I thought I was ready that time. Two, one. Go up slower. Yes, there you go. Keep those toes pointed, still push the ground away, tense your bum. Then Hannah should be able to let go, and I should stay. Yes. <sighs> 
You got that? That's a good one. That's a good one, that's alright. I find it easier when I'm in like over and bent in half, I think, to balance. Got it. Like that. Suppose you can get creative with it, doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> try again, try again. Shall I do one? Yep. Ready? I'm ready. I'm doing one on my own. Go for it. Three, two, one. Oh. There you go. Oh, yours is already better than mine. It's no good, is it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead then, Hannah. Give it a go. This is just a good exercise to help you with your handstands, help you with, it will even help you with your headstands, understanding on how you should push on the ground to keep your body upright. Oh. Keep going, Hannah. Yeah, good. I just feel like I've not hit the spot yet. There you go. That's the spot. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. Let's do some bridges and then we're going to try our backwards walk over and then we're going to keep this one nice and short. Where's all that going? I don't know. Meh. Just gone. Are we ready? What are we doing? We're going to try a. We're going to warm up our bridge quickly and then after warming up our bridge, then we're going to try some kickovers. Okay? Just a quick, like we did at the start, just the bridge, but when we're in our bridge this time, we're going to rock forwards and backwards. Ten times. You ready? Three. How are you going so far over that way? I don't know. I wanted to. Three. Two. One. Up. Rock forwards and backwards. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and relax. Tuck, and rock forwards and backwards. Woo! Are you ready? Let's try. Now, bridge, rock three times if you want to. If you, Hannah says that she finds it easier going from a bridge and without the rocks, just kicking straight over. Okay, then you can try. So, Hannah's going to push up to a bridge. You go kick straight over, okay? If you bend your leg, so if you bend your leg as soon as you kick, all of your weight that you've just tried to kick over is coming back that way. You need to kick hard. Okay, so keep that leg nice and straight. If I put my hand there, I'm just trying to kick my hand every single time. Okay, one more. That's a better one. Again, always push the floor away from you. You always want nice straight arms. So we're going to push up. Our hands here, kicking over. Look at that, lovely. Okay. No, I can't do them. But you're going to give it a good go. But I made it my challenge so I can prove to you guys that as long as you keep practicing and doing it, okay, you'll be able to do it. Okay? This is week two of me trying to do a backwards walkover. Here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to kick over. Yeah. It's happening today. If it doesn't happen on the live stream, then we're going to film it and we'll carry on later because <laughs> we'll get the tumble track out and give it a go. Whoa. Are we ready? Yeah. You guys can Why practice you this. Ready? You guys have had, so just in this half an hour, you've had, we've done handstands for you to practice at home. You've got four arm balances. Four arm balances to practice at home. And then now you've got your backwards walk over to practice at home. And then we also did that to batter. Again, if you need that app, just say, I'll put it in the description below this, uh, below this video. Okay, it's just 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. It's probably the, one of the best short workouts that I personally do, and Hannah hates. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. This is happening. Back with walk over. Are you ready? Are you I remember ready? Tash, you owe me a fiver if I get it. I'm not ready. You are ready. Ready to do it? Wait, that attitude. <gasps> that was the closest it <sighs> looked. That's the best this look. I'm going to keep trying. You guys keep practicing as well. Oh, don't know after that though. Are you ready? Keep your head under. Yeah, keep your head there. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> 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 but not 
yet, not this, not this live stream. I'm still stretching my bridge. I'm getting better. I'm working on it. That's what you guys have got to keep off doing. Chair. Yeah, I can do it off something. So if you're struggling to kick off, if you put your feet maybe on the sofa, or you could do it with your feet up to the wall and then walk your feet up, and um, we'll see if Josh can do it off the chair. Have I got it? <laughs> I can do it off the chair. I know I can do it off the chair. You've got to demonstrate so people can have a go at home. Yeah. So do your bridge normally is probably easiest with your feet on the floor and then step your feet up. I'd probably use your so soft far. chair. Yeah. Okay. But all you do if you've got a little elevated surface, put your feet up onto it. If you can't get into a bridge with your feet on something elevated like this, then you should not be practicing a backwards walkover. Okay. So that can be another prep then. Practice yeah. pushing up to a bridge with your feet on something if it's on the bottom step, on yeah. your sofa. Okay. Only when you can push up to a bridge off of this, practice this. Okay. If not, keep practicing your bridge on the floor. After you've already seen, if you watch back at the first live stream I did, my bridge from now, from my bridge today, you can already see that my shoulder angles are opening up. I'm getting a bit more flexible, and I'm starting to feel like I can do a backwards walkover. Okay, so just keep practicing that first. Then when you can do this, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> can you move the chair back? <laughs> yeah, you push it up and then go onto it. Yeah. No, I'm gonna that. Watch your feet are hooked under the arms a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there yes, we go. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I can get over on that. <laughs> so that's what we'll probably need to work on is getting an elevated surface. Once you can do it off the higher surface, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. Okay? Sorry. Right guys, what's the day today? Good Friday. Bank holiday today. Tis. The 11th. 10th. 10th. Right guys, that is our live gymnastic session for the 10th of April. Okay? If you guys are on the live stream and you experienced any internet difficulties, I know that it drops out a fair bit and it lags behind. I've got a camera behind the live stream camera, so I'm going to be uploading this about an hour after the actual live stream, so you guys can click on that. It should be much better quality, no lagging, because I'm not relying on the internet. Thank you for coming along, thank you for watching. See you later. See you later. It's because it did drop out, loads of people said that we were in the yeah. comment, it says it's not